Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am starting off this video in my car because I'm currently sitting in front of Sprouts. So I have not been to Sprouts for a really long time. I used to always come to Sprouts, but now I usually just go to Kroger, which is down the street from my house. And then we also order a lot of food from Whole Foods online. And then once a month, I go to Trader Joe's. But instead of going to Trader Joe's today, I decided to go to Sprouts because like I said, I haven't been here for a while. I want to see if they have anything new. And then I also just downloaded their new app. Well, I don't think it's new, but it's new to me and they have coupons on there. So there's a lot of great deals that I found on the app. So I'm be using that app as well. And I'm also going to be meal prepping. So I'm buying a lot of stuff so I can meal prep this week for myself. So this is going to be like a grocery haul slash meal prep ideas for you guys. I'm going to show you guys everything I'm going to be purchasing to meal prep. And then um, I don't know when my meal prep video will be up because I have to film that this weekend, but I will have a different meal prep up probably before this um, grocery video is up. So I will link that one down below for you guys if you guys are interested in seeing a meal prep video and you haven't already watched it. But enough of my talking, let's go ahead and head into Sprouts and see what great deals we can find. All right guys, so I am now obviously back home from going into Sprouts. Now I apologize, I had planned on filming when I was grocery shopping, but I walked in and it was just so crowded. There was so many people in there and I don't feel completely comfortable with vlogging in public with a bunch of people staring at me. Also, I didn't know if I was gonna get kicked out for filming. So I did not film when I went to Sprout. So I do apologize about that. I did just get home. So I'm gonna give you guys a short little haul. Now this week, um, I am going to like three different grocery stores. I don't always do this. I only do this once a month. Once a month, I will either do Sprouts or Trader Joe's. Now I like to go to Trader Joe's and Sprouts for specific things that other grocery stores just don't carry. And I also just like to see what new things they put out. So this week I did do Sprouts and then I still had to go to Kroger and then do my Whole Foods order. Now this haul, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of snacks in this haul. I found so much stuff that I wanted to try. So I picked up everything that I haven't seen before that I wanted to test out and see if I will like it. Now, as far as veggies, we still have a lot of veggies on hand. We'll probably order some um, green beans from Whole Foods when I do my order. But other than that, I still have broccoli, asparagus, cucumber, tomatoes, and carrots in the fridge. So that is enough veggies for the week. Plus, I'm going to buy some green beans when we do our Whole Food order, which you will see. I'll um, insert like a clip of whatever we get from Whole Foods as well. All right, guys. So I laid everything out that I bought from Sprouts. Like I said, I will do a short little haul on everything that I buy from Kroger and also Whole Foods. I don't have much to pick up from those two stores just because I did buy a lot from Sprouts. And like I mentioned earlier, we still do have a ton of veggies in the fridge. And then I think we have like two packs of meat in the freezer. Although I will be buying some more meats, um, we do have two packs in the freezer as well. So. I only need to buy a few things from Kroger and also Whole Foods, but really quickly, let me just get through this haul for you guys. So I guess I'll start it off in the front. So I'm gonna show you what I got for my kids as well. I did pick them up a few things. So the first thing is this Annie's Bunny Graham crackers. They love anything from Annie's. They love their fruit snacks, their cheese crackers, anything. So I just got them some of the Graham crackers. And then I'm gonna show you guys all of the snacks and like little treats I got. Because you know what, it's that time of month and I'm literally craving everything. I have a huge sweet tooth and I try not to snack on just candy and stuff because obviously it's not healthy, but I try to get healthier alternatives or healthier candy options, if that even makes sense. But I did pick up a few things. Um, I picked up, this is by the brand Smart Sweets. So if you guys are like me and you guys like candy, but you just don't want all of the sugar from regular candy, these are a great alternative. They only have three grams of sugar for the entire pack, which is crazy because if you look at the grams of sugar on a regular bag of candy, it's probably at least 27 grams or more. So this definitely helps with my sweet tooth, especially now that it's that time of the month and I'm craving everything. So I got some of these gummy bear ones. Like I said, this only has three grams of sugar and 90 calories. So that's a gummy bear one. I got the Smart Sweet Sour Blast Buddies. So they're kind of like um, Sour Patch Kids. Same thing, three grams of sugar and this one has 80 calories for the entire packet. And then this one is like Swedish Fish and same thing, three grams of sugar. And then this one also has 80 calories. So that's like my candy that I got. And for bars, I did buy a few bars. So I want to try out some new bars. So I've never had these. These are called Perfect Bars. This one is in Dark Chocolate Almond. 
And then this one is dark chocolate chip peanut butter. And you do keep these in the refrigerator. Then I also picked up these, which were also in the refrigerator um, section. And it's by Nelly's Organics. This one is caramel nugget. And this one's coconut with cashews. And it's organic whole foods covered in a dark chocolate. And they just looked really good. I'm guessing the caramel one is the best one because this was the last one they had. So I grabbed one of the caramel ones and then I like coconut. So I just grabbed this one. I just want to tell you guys, the ingredients in here are so simple. So organic raw cashews, organic brown rice syrup, organic raw cacao, um, organic raw blue agave, peanut butter. So I'm not going to read every ingredient, but if you read the ingredients on this, it's really, really simple. And then I also picked up this. Now this was super pricey. Hopefully I like it because like I said, this was a pretty pricey chocolate, but I love chocolate and it's that time of the month, like I said, and I need stuff to snack on. This is almond butter puffed quinoa dark chocolate. So I'm going to try this out and see how I like that. And then I also picked up some milk. So I usually get like either almond milk or um, coconut milk, but I've never tried macadamia milk. So I'm going to try this one. This one is unsweetened vanilla. So I grabbed some of that. And then I picked up a few drinks. This one I've never tried. So I want to try it out. It literally only has like six ingredients. It's called Remedy Organics Cacao Essentials and has 14 grams of protein. And those are all the ingredients. So almond milk, cacao, dates, maca, prebiotics, and I'm not even going to try to say that word right there, but whatever that is, it has that in there. So super simple ingredients. So I can't wait to try this out. It looks really good. And it's 200 calories for the entire little bottle. And then as far as unhealthy drinks, because these are not healthy drinks at all, but sometimes I need a pick me up and I don't want coffee all the time. And I sometimes need like a pre-workout type drink. So I'm going to try this C4 Energy. It's naturally zero, um, zero sugar and a blueberry lemonade. So I'll try that out and see how that works. I know they have C4 powder, which I've tried before. Doesn't really give me much energy, but I figured I would just try the drink out. And then this is what I usually, if I want like an energy drink, instead of getting a um, Red Bull or Monster, or all the other drinks they have, I try to get these because these aren't healthy, I would say, but they are just a little bit better than like a Monster. So I've never seen these flavors. I've only seen like a few flavors at my Kroger, which I usually get, but this one is wild berry. And then this one is grape brush. So I grabbed those two. So whenever I am super tired in the morning and need to go work out, I can just drink it. I also want to try this almond butter. I love almond butter. I've never had this. This is called basic culture. And it just sounded amazing, you guys. It is gingerbread almond butter. And the ingredients on this is super simple as well. Roasted almonds, maple sugar, ginger, cinnamon, sea salt, nutmeg, and cloves. So I'm gonna try this out again. This one was pretty pricey too. I think it was like $9 for this, but this is a pretty um, decent size. So it'll last me a while. So grabbed some of that almond butter. I grabbed some cuties, the kids and me love these. All right, so next is going to be some rice cakes. So I like to snack on rice cakes and I prefer the thin ones over the thick ones. I do buy the thicker ones, but sometimes it's just way too much. So I like the thin ones. This is Thin Stackers Cracked Black Pepper. So I put avocado on here or I will put hummus or almond butter. So this is a really great snack. I also want to try this yogurt. So this is by Vega and it's a protein yogurt. This is made with cashew milk. So it has 13 grams of protein, eight grams of sugar, and it is cashew and plant protein for minerals rich in fiber. So I don't know if it's going to be good, but I like yogurt. So this is raspberry and then this is blueberry. If I don't like it, Madison will eat it because she eats anything. I also got these bars. It is by Epic. This is almond butter and chocolate. It is made with dates. So the ingredients in this is only dates, egg whites, almonds, and unsweetened chocolate, sea salt, and vanilla extract. So if you guys have ever tried this, let me know. It sounded amazing, so I just grabbed a box of that. The kids really love this cereal. They've never had the one with chocolate. I usually get them the one of just peanut butter as like a sweet treat, and I've never seen the peanut butter and chocolate, so I grabbed that for my kids. I'm gonna have this for lunch today because I don't have time to make anything. And it's just superfood salad. It is sweet potato, quinoa, and kale. So I picked that up so I can have for lunch. I also picked up this queso. So if you guys are um, dairy free or vegan free, this is a great plant-based queso. It is delicious, my favorite. So 
I am lactose, so I can't have too much dairy or it'll upset my stomach. So if I want queso, I usually get this. And then I've never tried this, but I wanted some cream cheese for my English muffins and my bread. So this is by Green Valley. It is lactose-free organic cream cheese. Never tried it, but I'm gonna try it out and hopefully it is good because I've never had um, dairy-free cream cheese. I just picked up a dozen of eggs. I'll probably have to end up getting more because we do go through eggs really quickly. I picked up some of my favorite chips. These chips are amazing. They have a ton of different flavors. I love the lime one. So I'll probably have some of these chips with the queso and it'll be delicious for a snack. I got some Brazi Bites. These were buy one, get one free. So I got two packs and this is just the cheddar and Parmesan. This is gluten-free. So if you guys are gluten-free, definitely try these out. They taste amazing. I also got some of these so I can make like these little smoothie bowls. I love these. And this is just the four super fruit packs. I think they have like one or two other flavors, but this is what I usually get. Now I've never tried these tortillas, but I'm gonna try these tortillas because I love this name brand and the chips, but I've never tried their tortillas. And they also have it in almond flour, but they were out of the almond flour one. So I just got these and this is grain free tortillas. They're gluten free, dairy free, non-GMO, paleo, soy free and vegan. So this is what I plan on using to do my um, breakfast little burritos. I also picked up some cauliflower pizza. It's just three cheese. So on a day where I don't have time to make lunch and I don't have any meal preps on hand, I can just pop this in the oven. This coleslaw is for my bowl that I'll be making, which is a egg roll bowl for my meal prep. And the only slaw they had was broccoli slaw, which is broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage. So I'll be using this. Got some frozen organic berries so I can make my smoothies. I got some Dave's Killer Bread. I usually get the Ezekiel brand, but I'm gonna try Dave's Killer Bread because everyone says it's really good. So I'll be trying that out. And then this is the main brand that I usually get in my bread, but I decided to get the English muffins and this one is cinnamon raisin and it comes with six English muffins in there. I also got this for the kids. I don't know if they're going to like it, but they were buy one, get one free. So I figured why not try it out comes with five snack packs and this one is in chocolate cookie and this one is a sweet potato cinnamon graham cracker so hopefully the kids will like this if they don't i'll just give them away to some friends and then the last two things i got were just two cases of organic strawberries we go through strawberries a lot in the house because everyone loves them so i got two cases now i still need to go to kroger and also Whole Foods. So once I get my order from Whole Foods and go to Kroger, I will show you guys what I get from those grocery stores. So for now, that is it. And I'll see you guys in a second once I get back from my second grocery trip. All right, you guys, so I am now back home once again. I already picked up my kids from school and we went to Kroger. So I'm gonna show you what we bought from Kroger. It is a very, very small haul just because like I said, I am doing a few things from Whole Foods as well. And then obviously I showed you guys everything I got from Sprouts, which was a lot. So it's just a few things I got from Kroger. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what we picked up. All right, so this is everything that I got from Kroger. Like I said, super tiny haul just because I got a lot from Sprouts and I still have a few things that I'm gonna be getting from Whole Foods. But over here, I got some grapes because like I mentioned earlier, the grapes at Sprouts today just, they weren't looking good at all. So I just got some purple grapes. I got some bananas. I got one avocado, which I'm super upset that I didn't get it from Sprouts because right now they have a sale for avocados, two for a dollar. So they are only 50 cents each, which is a great deal. And I completely forgot to pick up avocado from Sprouts. So this avocado alone was 99 cents, but I could have gotten two for a dollar, but whatever. I didn't want to drive all the way back to um, Sprouts. So I just got it at Kroger. Then I got one large onion. This is the bread the kids use for like sandwiches and toast. So I got them their bread. And then I got some meat. We usually do get our meat from um, Whole Foods, but I don't mind buying ground beef and stuff from Kroger just because I like the way it tastes. I just don't like how the chicken tastes from Kroger. I don't know, I'm weird. I just like to get my chicken from Whole Foods, but I did get this um, organic ground beef and this is gonna be for one of my meal preps. And then I got some ground chicken and I'm gonna be making some chicken burgers for dinner tonight so this is what I like to use when I do chicken burgers 
And then I only got two of my favorite bars this week because you guys saw all of the bars that I got from Sprouts. I got a ton. I really didn't need these, but I love them. So I just grabbed one each. So I got my Power Crunch and the Peanut Butter Fudge and then my Go Macro Bar. And this one is in Coconut Almond Butter and Chocolate Chip. If you guys have watched all of my other grocery hauls, then you definitely would have seen these. I got the kids some more of their peanut butter. I want to try this creamer out. I've never tried it. It's called Picnic and it's an original creamer. And it says it is grass fed butter whey. It has MCT oil and it has zero grams of sugar, zero grams of net carb and it's keto friendly. Not that I'm on the keto diet, but we'll try this out and see how we like it. I got my husband some Oreos. He loves Oreos and I've never seen this, the most stuff, I don't know. He likes Oreos, I don't like them, so I got them for him. Kids are almost out of their orange juice, so I got them some orange juice. Got my husband his chocolate milk. And my daughter is bringing me muffins. Here, I'll give it to you in a second, okay? And then I'm gonna try this Colombian coffee. So I've been trying um, new coffees, so I thought I would try this one out. And then the last thing I got is just the kids' yogurt. This is their favorite yogurt, and we go through it very quickly. So I just got them a new pack of that yogurt. And that is everything we got from Kroger. So once I get my order from Whole Foods, which will also be super tiny as well, I will show you guys what we get. I forgot to show you guys the cheese and turkey I got. I just got some deli cut honey um, wildflower turkey. I got some sharp cheddar cheese and then the kids some mozzarella sticks. And now that is the last thing I got from Kroger. All right, you guys. So this is everything we got from Whole Foods. Another very small haul because I already went to two other grocery stores. But this is everything. So we got a large bag of some green Granny Smith apples. I love these apples. I eat them with like almond butter or just plain. They're delicious. And then I guess my husband decided that he wanted some chocolate chip cookies and also croissants. I'm gonna try not to touch those because I'm trying to do good, but he bought that. We also have some chicken thighs and then we have two packs of this organic uncured bacon. Madison loves bacon. She can seriously eat that whole pack by herself. And then we got a pack of chicken breasts. I have a green pepper there some green beans, baby spinach, and then a huge um, container of this spring mix. So that is everything that we got from Whole Foods this week. All right guys, so it is a few days later, but I'm just now getting around to filming an outro for this Sprouts grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I purchased for me and my family this week for groceries. Like I said, I don't go to three different grocery stores every single week, but I do like to go once a month to either Sprouts or um, Trader Joe's just to see what they have out as far as new things and just get things that I know I can't get at like Kroger that they only sell at those specific grocery stores. I like to pick up. Um, I will admit this past few weeks, I have been going to Sprouts a lot more just because since I started eating healthier and I'm on my new fitness journey, there's just a lot of things that I like to get from Sprouts that they just don't sell at Kroger or maybe I don't like buying from Kroger, but I do try just to do this like once a month because it is pretty pricey having to go to three different grocery stores doesn't help that my husband is super picky. So I have to get him specific things. And then my daughter is a gluten-free diet. So I have to get her specific things. So I'm literally getting the entire family different things, but I try to make it work. Um, I'm gonna try this week to do a budget grocery haul just because I have been spending a lot of money on groceries. So I might film that. I don't think I've done like a um, budget grocery haul for a while or budgeting tips when it comes to grocery shopping. So maybe I will film that next for you guys and maybe get that up soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. If there is a specific grocery store you guys would like me to go to and do a grocery shopping like haul, let me know in the comments. Maybe if you guys would like me to go to Trader Joe's or Aldi's or Ingles, I don't know, whatever grocery store you guys would like me to go to, let me know. Maybe I will try it out and see if I can do like a budget, maybe $100 or under for like a week or something. If there's something that you guys would be interested in, just let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop rambling on. I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.